Hello and welcome to a new video where I will debunk the News Builder plugin, which is a copy of my Newsomatic plugin. So I have them here on this test blog installed side by side. The News Builder is this one, and Newsomatic is this. The blog is empty, it will be used to test both plugins. Okay. So let's go ahead and look into how both plugins function. So you have to enter in both plugins an news API API key here and in news builder here. Uh, then you have to go to latest news to posts in both plugins, latest news to posts which look similar but are not the same but look similar so you will have a source settings where you will define the source of the article these will be the sources the possible sources here you will have also a category in news builder but uh, in the original plugin, the categories were down here into the source. You will also have a country. The country can be found here. Okay. Maximum number posts. Maximum number posts. Post status. Post status moderate line draft pending draft moderate line pending draft as you can see they are the same item type item type i have more item types in my plugin that's good <laughs> search article by keyword this can be found here query string wordpress category this can be found here schedule this is a feature that uh, actually i had in the plugin but removed it okay so now let's go ahead and check how this works uh, so they claim that if you click here then test 10 posts will be generated. Let's say, let's save settings. Now the News Builder plugin should generate for us 10 full posts. Let's wait this out. Now the post should be generated. Okay, let's go to the blog. And yeah, it generated 10 posts. Let's check one. Okay, so it works. But let's go a bit deeper into things. You will see that uh, there are also run this rule now. Move all posts to trash. Duplicate this rule. Permanently delete all posts. Delete this rule. And my settings are run this rule now move all posts to trash duplicate this tool permanently delete all posts the rule from for me can be deleted from here okay let's look a bit more into settings check for duplicate posts uh, I also checked the code of uh, the News Builder plugin and saw that many options from it will do nothing. So they are simply uh, some checkboxes for the users to check in the front end, but in the back end they will do nothing, like this checkbox. The this is uh, called duplicate post. So this will do absolutely nothing in the back end of the plugin. 
if it is checked or not, it will be the same behavior or so. Uh, in the featured image option, do not copy images locally. As you, say, as you can see, I already checked this in my previous testings. And let's see, uh, they are on my local host. So each image from the featured images of the posts are copied locally. But I have specified here that I don't want to copy images locally. So this also is not working. So you will find here a bunch of options that are actually not doing anything. Okay, so now let's uh, check real quick these options also. Check for duplicate posts. This was uh, copied from this. Do not check for duplicate posts. Okay. Do not check in existent categories. Here it is. Keyword replacer tool. Keyword replacer tool. Translation source language. The translation source language automatically translate to. This is the Google Translate translation. Keep original link source after uh, translation. Keep original link source after translation. Spin text using word synonyms. Spin text using word synonyms. The possibilities are best spinner, word AI, spin writer, built in wiki synonyms, free thesaurus. They only kept the wiki synonyms part and removed all the other parts. Do not spin title. Do not spin title. Okay, so let's go ahead. Minimum title word count, maximum, minimum content, maximum content, banned word risk, required word risk, skip posts that do not have images. You will find these options here. Okay, featured image options, this that does not work. And in my plugin, it actually works. Featured image resize. So you can see the exact same descriptions of the settings you will find here. And Google Translate, which is also in my plugin. OK. PHP settings is some info about the plugin's requirements, but this does nothing. OK. So, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and check the code side by side of plugins right now. So, this is the interesting part. Let's go ahead and let's say, uh, let's check what we should check now. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, check the text spinner uh, part of the plugins. So as you can see, the spinner uh, text spinner. This is the news builder plugin. And let's check the text spinner. This is the text spinner uh, file of, from it. Okay, and now let's go to my news omatic plugin. The text spinner part of the news omatic plugin. So the text spinner part of the news omatic can be found here. Okay, so if we go ahead and compare these two, you will see that there are some striking similarities. So if we compare the spin content function, for example, spin content, um, I this, this one. So I also have an alternative method from free thesaurus that they did not need and they removed it. So let's check only the spin content function. 
as you can see there are some striking similarities in the two codes the api key differs because they created their, their own api key at meshape but the rest of the code is kept as it was run text pinner single run text pinner so yeah the rest of the code was kept unchanged okay now let's go ahead and check uh, other parts of the news builder plugin let's say we want to check the readability part yes this is another uh, interesting part so this is the part that automatically extracts the uh, full article content from uh, the uh, feed article that the, from news build the uh, news api articles so this is the part that automatically detects the uh, full content of posts okay this is the news builder uh, version of this and let's go to the newsomatic plugin and go ahead and this is the re readability part of my plugin so let's check this real quick out okay so this is the newsomatic readability plugin uh, part of the plugin as you can see my plugin has here some headers of this code and here it is the here starts the main part of the readability and this is the uh, news builder part of the code for readability so let's put it like this and you will see that the code is strikingly similar just a bit shifted to the left so as you can see it is the same okay so these were some uh, striking similarities let's check news builder a bit more uh, let's check the text pinner this is also another interesting part from the plugin that has some striking uh, similarities okay so this is the one from news builder let's go now and go to newsomatic and let's see the text part from newsomatic okay so this is the newsomatic text pinner and this is the news builder text pinner so this will use wiki synonyms wiki synonyms okay and also there are many more uh, similarities between the two plugins so as you can see uh, news builder is copied after my plugin so and also it has many features that are absolutely not working and are only in the front end so the user can check them but they will not do anything and will not change the plugins behavior in any kind okay so yeah these are the things i wanted to show you in this video what remains uh, to be said is yeah 
keep your eyes open when you buy plugins because you might get with a plugin similar to this one which is a cheap copy of something that actually is worth a couple of bucks okay so yeah don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want similar videos like this until next time have a great day happy new year bye bye